I think one decision which I believe will have gone either way for me was my decision to do math in the university. But I thought so hard about it. So that for me was a very important decision as a young man. And with all the pressure on me from society, society wanted you to say you are reading engineering. Your father wanted you to say you are reading engineering. The head of engineering wanted you in the engineering department. And you just said, no. Whether we like it or not, whether we are conscious of it or not, uh, one success or failure uh, in life is a summation of choices made and decisions taken. When we make a choice, we automatically forego the consequences or benefits of the alternatives, and that's what economists call uh, opportunity cost. Uh, because man is finite, uh, we choose to either invest or not to invest, we choose to either attend or not to attend. We, either, we choose to either push forward or pull back, say yes or say no. Uh, uh, someone once said that successful people make the right decisions early and manage those decisions you know, on a daily basis. Uh, of course, all you need is a few bad decisions, a few bad decisions and you know, one's life is wrecked. Uh, uh, could you tell us uh, of a time when you had to make a difficult decision, which you knew its outcome has the potential to either make or mar you. I think one decision which I believe will have gone either way for me was my decision to do math in the university. Because being the first child of a railway father, he had always pumped it into my head that you have to be an engineer or a doctor or a lawyer. And I never queried it while I was growing up. And in those days, young people ask you, what are you doing? You say you are doing science. It doesn't seem like you are really in the university. It was a big hassle because uh, Professor Awojobi was head of engineering then. I did not register for engineering. But the man was looking for me to say, who is this guy? Why is he not in my class? And I went to meet with him and I told him, I said, excuse me, sir, I've had one year in the Polytechnic and it was clear to me that engineering was not my stuff. Every other subject in the Polytechnic, I would clear with A star. But once I got into the workshop, either to make a cup or to make a screw, I would be the last to finish my product would be the worst. Engineering drawing, disaster. But every other thing, mechanical engineering science, electrical engineering science, I was flying. So I told Professor Wojobi that, look, my engineering drawing is a mess, was a mess when I was in the Polytechnic. My workshop practices were no good. I don't think I would be a good engineer. He said, don't worry about that. Get your degree first, and then you can decide whether you want to be a good engineer or not. But I thought so hard about it. And I felt, I know myself. If I go into these sciences, I know I was going to just do maths. If I close my eyes, I will make a first class. If I go into this engineering, 
I will walk around the clock and I will probably struggle to make a 2 2 or a 2 1. Why do I want to do that? So, that for me was a very important decision as a young man. And with all the pressure on me from society, society wanted you to say you are reading engineering. Your father wanted you to say you are reading engineering. The head of engineering wanted you in the engineering department. And you just said, no. And I do believe that it is because I made a first class that Shell found me attractive for even employment. So I felt that for me was a really make of my decision. I think I saw a university lecturer as my alternative to being an engineer. I used to have people like um, Daddy Ju Adeboye, uh, the other man now, uh, another Christian leader. They were my lecturers in the university, Pastor Kumuyi. I admire them, I admire their simplicity. They were my lecturers. Dr. Deboe will come into the, into the class without any book. We will start, we will finish, you know, no notebook, no nothing, all from his head. I admired and I felt this is really what I want to be. My father was always asking me, so if you then do this math, what will you do? I said, I want to be a university lecturer. In his head, so I'm sending you to the university and all you want to do is to be a teacher. So I felt for me, that was a real make or my decision for me. But my, my life would probably have gone differently.